Hello, 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 everybody, and welcome back to my Dynasty Warriors series is here uh, for Dynasty Warriors 8. Oh, my glasses are dirty. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you guys Ambition Mode, just because I've been putting up guides and I did Story Mode, but I think I want to go into Ambition Mode and show you guys why I like it way better than the other mode in Dynasty Warriors 7. So let's go ahead and continue from where we left off. Now, in Ambition Mode, I haven't completed it yet. I'm not completely done. I've been busy doing all the guides, so I haven't been able to do the slight grind that I have left in Ambition Mode. But, I will be getting to that pretty soon, I'm sure. Because uh, I'm almost done recording all of them. I just have to upload all the guides now. So, this is our Ambition Mode. So, you get a little city here. It does not look this developed in the beginning. Uh, I haven't even developed all the buildings yet, so this is not how the finished result's going to look. Kind of laggy, as you can see, uh, but, I mean, that's to be expected. This is the last thing you get, I believe, the academy. Very important. That's how I level up all my officers. Um, or, but it's not the first thing you get, so maybe I should go to what you get first. So when you start out, they do a little tutorial. Uh, you go ahead and you get the... Uh, blacksmith I believe or you get the barracks one of those and then you make your way around you get the tea house you get the merchant you get the uh, stables guy you get a training grounds over there where you can level up people by how long you're in the uh, training or by how long you're doing missions for ambition mode so the whole point of ambition mode is to run in slow motion apparently no, is to build the Tongketai. Tongketai. I believe that's how you say it. And the Tongketai is basically like an imperial palace. A palace for the emperor. And we got some peasants over here looking at my... So far how I've done. So it looks like... I think it looks like that most of the time. But I'm almost done with it. So let's go ahead and get back up there. <coughs> uh, this ambition mode? Really fun, I have to say. I had so much fun with it. And it's also how you get the red hair. So it's a very important part of this game. Uh, red hair and the other two horses. The hex mark and the shadow runner, I believe. So yeah, very important part. So the higher level you get the blacksmith, the better weapons he has. So we can talk to him. He'll be like, yo, you can buy weapons. Right now it's not that high for me. I get three star weapons most of the time. But this is one of the places I'm at a lot, because we get extra weapons all the time. So with all these extra weapons, I usually sell them, get some money, and as soon as I get that money, I head down that way to the academy and level up my characters so I can get their secret weapons. So that's very important. Uh, let's go over here. So the barracks, have I used them? Yeah, alright. You can, what the barracks are is you can dispatch troops, and we'll go ahead, I'll go ahead and show you everything once I get back. So this is the main part of Ambition Mode, which is Battlefield Battles. So what you do is you choose a difficulty, and you go into a uh, Battlefield Mode. It's kind of like a, uh, not Horde Mode, but something like that, I guess you could say. Let's go on Normal. Or actually, I do not want to be Sima Yi. Let's go ahead and be... Where is he at? Ah, I can't be gunning. He's there. I won't switch to him. Uh, let's go ahead and be... Who do I want to be? Who's another one of my faves? Another one of my faves. I'll be my, my chow. And so, let's go ahead and go to his uh, items here. Officer info. Uh, let's change his spear to his spear. spear. Okay. Skills are fine. And I believe he has the red hair. Awesome. Alright, so we... Oh, and then the cool thing about this, which I wish you could do in the story mode, is uh, for officer info, you actually can pick a bodyguard. Mine right now is Lubu, so I shouldn't be getting into much trouble. Alright, so we're going to pick normal. <coughs> and here's what you get. So you start off with four battles here. Actually, you start off in a tutorial where they show you all four. But, nonetheless, here's what you usually get into. So you get a great battle which is easy to get allies um, but it's difficult it's a kind of a bigger battle unconventional which are kinda eh, but you need to do these to get fame which is important you can't get allies without fame 
You can't get fame without allies. So you kind of interchange those over and over. Uh, next up, down here, you get Skirmish. <coughs> Excuse me. Which a Skirmish is the best possible one if you're farming horses. Because then you get... Um, you They're really quick. You just go kill one officer, and then you do it over and over and over. And what you need to do is, I'll show you pretty soon, uh, Fawn Castle, Great Battle. So I think you get two Great Battle options in which to get allies. So we're going to go ahead and do a Skirmish. And as you can see, all of them are different battlefields. They're all from different maps that we've done throughout all of our weapon guides and through the Wu storyline. <coughs> so, <coughs> we're going to go through here and play through this little one. And believe me, this is not going to take long at all. Alright, so we're on the red hair. And you see that one officer down that way? That's our goal. That's it. Uh, when you're doing a uh, material mission, break all the boxes you see, kill all the officers, they all drop materials. If you're really needing materials at the moment. So you want to go ahead and head over here. And mobile captain, unit commander. Now, the unit commander was it. He was the guy I had to kill. I immediately murdered him. So the reason there are no actual like officers I'm fighting right now is because all of the officers are mine. See right there? So these are basically my stats. I have all of the allies in the game that have names. So 790 allies. It's crazy. And then fame, I have maximum fame, which is basically what you need. Um, so when you are farming, let me just say this real quick. When you are farming to get the horses, and by farming, if you're not familiar with the term, is when you're trying to do the 90 consecutive battles. It's best that you already have all 790 allies, because when you're doing this mode, let's just say I hit next battle, right? So I would do another bot battle, and then after this battle, there would be, I think it's after this one or the next one after that, there is a special battle. I don't get them anymore, but there's usually a special battle where many officers will appear, and you can, you have the chance to kill all of them, and they'll all join your side. If you don't kill an officer, he won't join your side. So, after that, you get that battle, but because I already have all of the main officers with all the names and stuff, I don't need to, or they don't give me that option to the, do that battle anymore. So, uh, what happens is I just can keep doing this skirmish battle over and over and over. And all you need to do is do this skirmish battle, let's say, um, how many times would I say? See, I already killed him. It's that easy with one level 90. Uh, so, let's say I do this skirmish battle 30 times, I will get a rare horse no matter what. If you haven't already gotten a rare horse, you'll get a rare horse. Just do it 30 times, and if you stop, that's perfectly fine. Because then, if you stop, um, it'll reset, but now the next 30 you get, you'll get a new rare horse. And that'll probably be Shadowrunner, if it's not Hexmark, I don't know. They probably, um, I don't know which order they're in. But anyways, what I'm trying to say is, after that second one, do 30 more battles in a row, and you get the red hair immediately. Really easy. See, I'm almost done with the Tonkitai. I just need to build those places a little more. I've been summoned by Tai CC. He likes me, so I have to go talk to him. He's going to be like, oh, I like you. You're funny. Or you're just the maximum value. Okay. So that's another thing. You also have allies in your cap camp management. Uh, in camp management, you can use materials to... Uh, help build all of your facilities. That's important, but that's not what I'm going to get into. It's another way to have fun in this. It's one of the things you need to do to build your tongue ketai. Uh, I'm not going to work on that right now, though. Uh, also, you have the assigned supervisors. So, let's say I want, like, Dion Wei, go work at the tea house or something. He'll go work at the tea house. Things like that. And what it does is sometimes you can get special options talking to them, and they can become your ally a little uh, quicker if you go talk to them every time you leave the fighting mode. 
So things like that. But um, I haven't really gotten into that too much, so I don't really worry about it. But yeah, uh, then camp symbol, that's just whatever you want to do with it. I have all of the camp symbols, so maybe I'll just go through them all right now. I really like that one. That's pretty. Um, but yeah, so ambition mode, way, way much more fun than that other mode they had in Dynasty Warrior 7. Dynasty Warrior 7 almost turned me off to this series, but I looked at some trailers for this game, and this game looked epic. And I loved how it looked, and I was super excited for it. So, when I bought it, I was like, okay, please be good. And it was. I was so happy. That's why you definitely need to get this game. So, these are all the officers. This whole page right here. <coughs> Let me see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. This is 80 officers right here. And I believe there are... Is that really all the officers? Oh, no, it's not. Uh, there's 80 here. But I believe there's only 77 main people you can play. And then the rest of them are just like nine pages of random named guys. Not random, but other people that aren't historically needed. So there's that, and then bonds. So these are how you gain all the bonds with all the characters, which looks like it'll take forever, but I'm pretty sure it won't. I think you only have to do maybe two to three battles with each of them, which really easy so yeah that's the menu screen there now as I was saying before here's the barracks <coughs> so since I put people on a mission before I get weapon materials you get two types of materials in this game you get weapon materials and then you get facility materials in the beginning you really want to get a lot of weapon materials so I just dispatched troops for weapon materials there uh, there's only weapon and facility materials you get uh, so you want to get weapon materials because you can um, trade in weapon materials. One weapon material equals two building materials, which is a good way to farm. Um, farm a lot of uh, being able to build all your stuff up quickly. Because the weapon materials are for making weapons. Uh, the tea house gives you these things. So experience increase, attack bonus, and you only get two out of the three though. And you can buy them. They're really cheap. I think I don't know if they last more than one battle. I'm pretty sure they probably last until you stop fighting, but we'll see. The farmer, after every battle, will give you how much gold he got. So 6,000, not too bad. Sun Cheng Xiang, since she's standing there, sometimes she gives weapon materials. Or whichever officer is there will give you weapon materials. Uh, depending on what officer you have here, they'll give you a, web, a merchant discount when you're at the merchant. So like right here, there's a tiger, elephant... Pretty expensive. Once you get the red hair, you won't even care, though. Um, you can exchange materials. Like I said, one weapon material gives you two facility materials. When you level it up to level um, 50, though, he stops giving you all the bonus stuff. And that's why people, most people recommend, don't do that. Don't level them up to level 50. Level them up to 49. And then once you max out all your building materials, then you should be set. And like I said before, here's the academy. You come here, you talk to him. Now, I've leveled him up a bit, so I get these little things here. But one thing I haven't done yet is you can actually increase your character's attack and health permanently by buying these things right here. Okay? It goes up to a maximum number, but then you still can go over that with the uh, attack boost and all those things you give your character. So things like that. So very important if you're having a lot of trouble on some of these levels. Just go ahead and do this. XP increase only 9,000 for a big chunk. Can't really show you how much it gives right there. Let's go ahead and change officers then to someone low level that I haven't leveled up yet. So I got a request for Lang Yuan Ji's weapon. I'm going to have to put that out here. So let's go ahead and show you how it levels up. So 34 to 35 then to 37 and 18,000 so that's about three levels not too bad you can earn money so easy not even lying so here's the stables what you can do in the stables is you can pay to feed the animals and what this does is based on what you feed them uh, you'll get like a special weapon or something see just like that I got a weapon and weapon materials 
So you always want to go to the uh, stables and feed. So that's about it. So now I'm going to show you guys what I think I showed you guys this in Sun Chang Siang's weapon guide. But some of you may not have seen that. I go to sell weapons. This is what I do to prepare. So I'll go to here and I always keep a heaven, an earth, and a man weapon. Uh, the three stars, four stars and below that are yellow, uh, those are random. Or at least how I find them. So yeah, so I would say I always get rid of the cheapest. And I keep one heaven, one earth, and one man weapon. <coughs> so we would sell these two. We would sell this one. We would sell these two. Sometimes I don't really pay attention to the prices though. Like the rare weapons, they make sure so you can't farm them that much. Uh, they make them really cheap. Even though it would be a waste of time if you tried doing that anyways. So, I hate when that happens. So, whenever you sell a weapon that a lot of people have a default, since you haven't like given them weapons, or haven't played as them, uh, it won't let you sell them. So, for this officer, I have to switch her weapon to her throwing knives, and change this one to the halberd, as usual. And now, when I go into him again, it's probably not there in recent weapons anymore. Oh, uh, yeah, it's still there. I can sell it now. <coughs> so that's basically what you do. You just go in here, you sell everything, and you earn money. If you look up there at the top right corner, I already have uh, way more than I had before. I have twice as much. So this money thing is not a big deal uh, for whatever you're trying to look at. So yeah. Um, already at 50,000 just by doing this for a second. I really recommend this game, guys. No matter what you think. it's. Some people may think, oh, it's just a redid version. It's just the same stuff over and over. Well, for most Dynasty Warriors fans, that's all we want. If you're not a Dynasty Warriors fan, a big Dynasty Warriors fan, I'd say you don't need to buy this, but I would honestly say with all my heart, that if you're going to start on the Dynasty Warrior series, I would actually buy this game. If not this game, three. <laughs> three is what dragged me in, but that's old. And I, I played that on the regular Xbox. So, yeah. But um, I can honestly say this is probably one of the easiest games to get the red hair in. Uh, when you, if you have all of the characters... If you have, uh, like, all 790 allies, that whole thing, uh, you can actually get through the, uh, 30, the 30 thing grind, the 30 fight grind to get a rare horse in probably an hour. I kind of dilly-dallied when I checked the time on how long it took me. Like, I was looking at YouTube and things like that. But it took me about, um, like I said like an hour or something like that. And I was looking at YouTube too at the same time. So just to keep myself enter entertained. Um, and the best part is, is you're not going to the same map over and over and over. You're actually, it switches the map. It switches where you're going and uh, like how far you have to go. And so also like I was showing you that one battle I was doing over and over, um, that's really short. This video isn't even that long for me going into a battle, which it usually is. See right here? I don't have a earth weapon, so I'll just sell both of those. Uh, but yeah, I mean, not really much else I can say. I'm just selling stuff since I'm here. Uh, the Tonkatai is pretty awesome. I think that this mode, ambition mode, sorry, is really awesome. Uh, I have, I want to get back into this because you can do a 100 consecutive battle thing and you will get uh, one of the rare uh, animals. I think it's a panda, a golden... Oh no, it's the war elephant. That's what it is. And then I think you need to get the war elephant to unlock some other animals. I'm not quite sure, so don't quote me on that. But that's what I want to go ahead and do next time I play this mode. And if you look at the money count, already at about 200,000. So I'm going to go ahead and level this girl up, and I'll show you how much money it takes to level her up, which actually is not that much. 
if you're looking at this, and I'm posting this soon, I think, uh, you'll actually see some weapons that I haven't put up a guide for yet, but they'll be up there momentarily. Actually, we're already almost done selling stuff, so might as well finish, right? <laughs> yeah, I'm finishing. Deal with it. <laughs> So I'm going to sell the rest of these. And what I usually do is I go to recently obtained because these are the ones that are, after I sell a bunch, these are the ones that have um, extra weapons in them that I need to sell. So if I go to all, now they all should have threes or twos or maybe even a four. I'm not sure. I haven't seen any. See one four here. That's just because I probably forgot to sell it. So there we go. I think that's about it, guys. Alright, so I want to go ahead and show you. That was, um, the last time I sold all my weapons was probably this morning. And I haven't done much, many videos today at all. So I was able to get 250, about 250,000 gold from about maybe 5, 6 uh, run-throughs of war levels. So it does not take long at all. So let's go ahead and see how many levels we could actually get her. With 246,000. We could get her up to 87, just with that, from like maybe 10 runs through levels today, picking up weapons. You can get someone to almost 99 immediately. And look at those skills, up to 200 more on our skills. But we only need her up to about uh, 48, yep. And that only costs 54,000 for that. Really simple, really simple, really easy. So, what's an officer I have that's really low level? Diao Chan. I need to level her up, because I need to go get her weapon soon. So, we'll see how much we can level her up with everything. So, she's level 16. I can already get her with 192 to 56. Really easy. But actually, we just want her to be... I usually, if it says 50, I'll knock them down to 48. So, 48. And look at that, only 21 XP, so that's like a couple hits on an enemy, and she'll level up to 49. So, and we still have 39 left. Excuse me. So, that's about all I have to say for, um, ambition mode. <laughs> also, ambition mode, don't play it alone. Invite a friend. Press 2, player 2, press start, and you guys can play together. Um, that's one thing about this game that really got me back into the franchise, is that you can co-op in Muso mode now, which in 7, they took it out, which I was like, what? Are you kidding me? And then also in 7, you couldn't even pick from a variety of characters. You had to deal with one character and play him through the, um, campaign. And so they'd, they'd always, like, switch you off to another character. Didn't like that. I mean, it was nice to introduce you to everyone and stuff, but I didn't want to be introduced to everyone. I already knew everyone. I'd been with the series. And if you want to be introduced to people, play them. Play them for yourself. But yeah, so that's about everything I have to say about uh, Ambition Mode. Really like it. So much fun. This game in general, so much fun. Please buy it, guys. Help these guys out. I mean, not that they need the help. This game's amazing. But just buy the game and have yourself a good time. Also, watch my videos, because that helps me, too. So, that's about it. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video on Ambition Mode, and just about Dynasty Warriors in general. Uh, please subscribe for more Dynasty Warriors content. I have a lot more to come up. I have a lot recorded. So, And also, if you want anything else uh, put up here, let me know. And I'll uh, upload some other stuff, some other videos. And lastly, uh, like and comment on the video, and I'll go ahead and talk with you. It's not a big deal. I love talking to my people that are subscribed. It's really nice. So with that, I will say goodbye. Peace.